Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It's Pan for Chef with Sarah, also known as Shook. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys an awesome new recipe with the Deluxe Cooking Blender. And you guys are going to love it. And you are going to be excited to know that it's going to be so much better for you than the store-bought version. So here is just a little bit of an insight. All right, so we all love ketchup, right? Um, we all love it because it goes on burgers and hot dogs and macaroni, if that's your kind of thing. And it also goes on lots of other different things you could be used in recipes. But I just wonder if you actually know, okay? So based on the nutritional value on the, this one specifically, I just wanted to show you how much refined sugar is in it. So for one tablespoon, here, whatever, right? There's about half of that is white sugar or a version of that. And other versions out there actually contain even more. So here it is. I'm going to show you a recipe that you guys can do at home in your own deluxe cooking blender. And it's going to blow your mind and the flavor is amazing. Okay, so here it is. I will share with you what is very exciting is that you can simply use natural ingredients, or real ingredients, stuff you probably already have in your pantry, right? So here goes. So I'm going to use a can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. All right, so there we go. Just like that. I just still can't even believe that, like, half of it and we all use more than a tablespoon usually right so we're going to use canned um tomatoes we all know that uh, canned stuff is pretty darn good because they flash them um and make sure that it's good so i'm just gonna i don't want splash so i'm gonna take that i'm just gonna pour it in all right so we've got the tomatoes in there all right, and the way that our deluxe is so powerful is that you can actually just throw chunks of raw vegetables in there. So here's about a third of a cup of raw onion, but I didn't have to dice them or anything like that. I'm just gonna chunk them and throw them in just like that. And if you like the taste of it, you can add more. And if you don't like that, even though it's like super blended or you don't have any on hand, onion powder is a great, we have three onion rub absolutely delightful and then we're going to use two tablespoons of tomato paste as well where did I put my can opener somebody point that one out for me oh it's right over here ha huh? there you go look at that all right so we've got we're going to use two yep two tablespoons of tomato paste all right all right I like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that that in just like that and I could have used my measure all Sarah wasn't thinking I just was have this handy so but that's super a better thing to use than that because now still I have some left over and my measure all wouldn't have happened so silly Sarah all right so we got two tablespoons of tomato paste and we're going to use um two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup now you can this is pure maple syrup you can use um other versions of sweetener if you like um if you're not a fan but we really like the flavor of this and i'm going to use two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup in there two and half of that, All right, there's my half, there you go, two and a half, here we go, here we go, all right, so this is going to keep the sweetness in there, but it's not like refined sugar, right, but again, if you don't want that, you can actually help completely omit this if you don't want any sugar at all. All right, so we've got, oh yes, we've got four cloves of garlic that I peeled with the garlic peeler here, and I'm just throwing them in whole because again, 
cooking blender. It has a cooking element built inside and it's going to blend and cook this into a nice, delicious homemade ketchup. All right. All right. So we've got, okay, one teaspoon of sea salt. So I'm just going to be able to do that. And I'm going to add some maybe after. I don't like it super salty, so I'm just going to add it in like that. And then it calls for mustard powder, and I love our Dijon mustard rub. So I'm just going to, this is a pinch, so I'm just going to put that in there, like a little bit in my hand, and I'm going to dump that in for extra flavor. And of course we can do some ground pepper as well. Delicious. And we are going to use a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire. So is it uh, Leah Perrins? Leah and Perrins is probably easier to say than Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Somebody correct me on that. I don't know which it's called. So I'm going to do about a half a teaspoon of that. I think I'm a teaspoon here. Yep, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Oh man, this gets really kicks it up a notch, right? We're gonna shoop it up. We're gonna shoop it up and add some of this in that. It makes it extra delicious. I love that added version. All right, so there it is, done easy. Oh, 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 almost forgot. Apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna do two and a half tablespoons of that as well. All right, so we've got one. Oh, and this one has the mother in it, so it's even better for you. Two and a half Whoop. apple cider vinegar. All right, so we've got some health benefits in it too, which is great. All right, so done and done. Okay, so we would we did uh, diced tomatoes canned. Um, we've got about a third of a cup of red onion, um, tomato paste. So two and a half tablespoons, or sorry, pardon me, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup and the apple cider vinegar. We've got four garlic cloves. We've got some sea salt in there, about a teaspoon it says, but I kind of cut it down because I don't love a lot of it. We don't, we're trying to reduce that. And then um, of course you can add it after if you want, because usually when you add things, you can add that after. And we've got half a teaspoon of Worcestershire, um, a pinch of mustard powder, black pepper, and we're going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch as well. And then, um, which I have in here. So we're gonna, that, that's gonna help thicken it up while it's cooking. Okay, so we're gonna put in one teaspoon of in there, and then we're gonna do one teaspoon of water as well. So I'm just gonna go over the sink here. All right. All right, so we've got one teaspoon of water in there. All right, so there we have it. Perfect, perfect. We're excited about this, you guys. All right, so. Again, I'm going to tell you that our, our blender, my blender is amazing. This guy does so much. I just love it. I use it almost every single day and I love that it can actually cook. So I literally can set it and forget it. And what pre-programmed function we're using on this one today is a patent pending with Pampered Chef. So it's exclusive to Pampered Chef and we are going to turn it to the sauce setting. So it's gonna grind it and it's gonna cook it into a nice sauce. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how it turned out. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Here we go. Ready? I love Babs. 